So when you're in a situation where all the X's are not lined up and all the Y's are not lined up, then you want to arrange them where you have that, where it's like X plus Y equals a number. So what I'm gonna do is I want you guys to write this down on your papers and I want you to move this negative six to the other side and this negative two Y to the other side um, so that you have all the X's and Y's to the other side. Um, you need to make yourself a note. So when you move them on the opposite side, Ms. Bullen? Yes. So you combine the like terms? No, you can't do that yet. They're two separate oh. equations. Oh, wait, I, heard, I just realized that, that they were like, I just saw the two negatives and I didn't realize the X and the Y. So you're going to change the sign. So when moving variables from one side to the other, you're going to change the sign. So if I'm move, if I'm rearranging these, and the only reason I'm rearranging them is just to put them in a column. So if I put move negative six x to the other side, it's going to become positive six. If I move this negative two y to the other side, it's going to become positive. And this plus 10 is gonna stay on the right side because we don't have to move it. Because now we have the X's, the Y's and the number. That's how we want it to look. So you're gonna do the same thing for the bottom equation. You wanna move this X to the other side. Um, and then we wanna move the 14 to this side. The negative 22 can stay there because it's already on the left side where it's supposed to be. So negative 22, we can just stay, it keeps the same sign because we don't have to move it. But we did move negative 18 X. So we had to change its sign. And then we did move negative 14, or I'm sorry, positive 14. So we made it negative. So all I did at this point was just rearrange the equation where I had a column of X's. I now have a column of Y's. So my column of X's is 6X plus negative 18X. My column of Y's is 2Y minus 22Y. And so I wanna cancel out one of those columns. So I can either make, I can either multiply this one by three and I can cancel out the X's because they'll both be 18 or I can multiply this column, the top column by 11 and that will make both of these 22 and I could cancel out this. So it's, it doesn't matter, it's up to you. It's what your preference is. So what do you guys wanna do? Do we wanna cancel out the X's or do we wanna cancel out the Y's? X. X? Yes. Okay. So we'll cancel out the X's and in order for me to come up with a number that cancels this out is that I know I want to turn this into an 18, right? How do I turn the six into an 18? Multiply. That's what you have to ask yourself. How do I turn this six into an 18? Multiply it by three. Yeah, multiply it this by three. So if I mm. multiply this by three, that means the whole equation has to be multiplied by three. So this whole equation right here becomes three times six X. So three times six X is 18 X. 
three times two y is six y, three times 10 is 30. So I multiplied each of these, that's good. And then I'm just going to copy and bring down what I had up here. So negative 18 X minus 22 Y equals negative 14. So the whole purpose of me multiplying by three is so that I can cancel out one column. So I wanted to make sure that I canceled out one column. So, and the reason I picked to multiply by three, again, the reason I picked that is because I wanted to create a number that would cancel out negative 18 X. And three is the only number that I could multiply by six in order to get positive 18. So now I'm just going to add those columns straight down. And this becomes negative 16 Y and this becomes 16. I'm just going to divide. So now I have Y equals negative one. So when I write my answer, this is going to be negative one. And to figure out what the, oops, I'm sorry, I wrote this incorrectly. That goes in for, I saw for Y. So the Y goes in the Y column. Sorry about that. So I want to take my answer for Y and plug it back in. And I'm actually going to use the top equation just because the top equation looks easier. There's less negatives. So I'm going to rewrite 6x plus 2y equals 10. And instead of a y, I'm now going to put that negative 1 in there. So I can solve for x. So now I have 6x and 2 times negative 1 is going to give me negative 2. And I just add that two, add that two. So now I have a 12 and then I have that six X still. So then I divide by six, divide by six. X is gonna give me a two. So then I have my answer as two negative one. And then I can check this by plugging two negative one back into the equation to see does the left side equal the right side? And that will tell me if my, the answer I came up with, if it's actually correct. So this, this is super helpful to check your answer, especially whenever you are confused on if an answer is supposed to be negative or positive.